In this presentation, we will take a look at the recommendations section of our sample reports for financial analysis. The recommendation section should give us some idea of some action plans. Take this ratio, summarize it up in terms of recommendations with regards to the analysis that has been made. This is probably one of the more difficult items to do within the analysis. Remember, as we've seen, when we look through these analyses, we could say, hey, this is the ratio, this is what it's supposed to do, and this is the trend in accordance with what the ratio should tell us. And that's what the software should do. And then we need to take that information typically and go into more detail in it and say, well, what is this telling us in terms of our particular company? That's a bit more difficult. That takes more insight. That takes something more than just simply automation in order to put something into a system for the system to be able to calculate something like calculations. It's something that can't be done by something that would be similar to a calculator or a computer. It takes more analysis about the company in order to do so. So we'll just read through the recommendations here in our sample record, report. Oshak Leyland is a second largest manufacturer of, of medium and heavy commercial vehicles in India. It had 24% market share in the domestic uh, medium and heavy vehicles uh, segment of the fiscal year 07 and marginal presence in the LCV uh, segment, light commercial vehicles. Oshak Leyland is also a key player in the passenger bus segment with almost 49% share of the fiscal year 07, CVs continued to 92% of revenues in fiscal year 07, while engines and spare parts uh, contributed to the balance. Transportation A, a structural change. The CV segment in India is, is going through a structural shift with the government's trust thrust of road development projects. Road sector has gained significant advantage over railways that has been mainstay for transportation of coal, food, grain, and cement till now. Uh, if one considers the trends of the developed nations, almost two thirds of the non-bulk goods are transported through roads. The completion of the Golden uh, aimed at connecting four metros and the east-west north-south corridor will result in availability of a network of 12,000 kilometers of connectivity. This will give a major fill-up of road transport. Bus segment is a, grow, is a growth story. The bus segment has the potential to witness the expansional growth witnessed in good uh, commercial vehicle during last three years. We agree with the view of the management about the potential that the bus segment has. Our belief stems from the fact that uh, straight transportation are operating at significantly high uh, utilization levels 120 percent to 130 percent of their capacity though the stus are facing resource crunch due to number of reasons we believe the renewal of fleet is an evaluationary um, in long-term run aggressive expansion plans in order to cash in on the industry growth story the company has lined up an aggressive expansion plan whereby it will be more than doubling its capacity over the next two to three years by making an investment in the region of ours 440 included in the expansion plan is a brand new uh, integrated plant for 50,000 vehicles per annum in the state of whatever state that it which will not only help to save a transportation cost but will also provide certain fiscal incentives sector the growth of the auto industry is directly linked to the growth in the industrial activity, which in turn is a function of the domestic GDP growth. Given the projected strong economic growth in the country, the CV sector is likely to witness robust growth rate in the long term. Sales, net sales of the company have averaged ours uh, 46 in the last five years and are expected to climb higher given the long term growth prospects of the economy. Current ratio, Ashek Leyland average current ratio during the years uh, 03 and 07 has been 1.5 times. This indicates the company is comfortably placed to pay off its short-term obligation, which gives comfort to its lenders. Due to uh, debt to equity ratio, a highly leveraged business is the first to get hit during times of economic downturn as companies have to uh, consistently pay interest costs despite lower profitability by uh, by believing that a debt to equity ratio of greater than one is the the high risk pros, uh, proposition considering ash clayland's average debt to equity ratio of 0.6 over the last five fiscals long-term earning per share growth 
We expect the company's net profits to grow at a comp uh, compounded rate of around 8% over the period uh, fiscal year 08 uh, to 10. Based on normal scenario, we consider the historical compounded growth of over 20% in net profits over a five-year period has healthy uh, period as healthy for a company. Margin of safety. This is to determine the value of the stock related to its price and the returns over the risk-free rate. Margin of safety of a stock lies in its earning power, which is calculated as uh, EPS, earns per share, divided by market price. Uh, considering Ashok Leyland's PE of 10 times its uh, trailing 12-month earnings, the earnings power is 2%, which is fairly low. Valuations, Ashak Leyland is currently trading at Rs13, implying a PE multiple of 4.40 times. Based on valuation criteria, the sell limit for the stock as fiscal year 10 ca cash flow comes around Rs50 per share. This implies a point-to-point -point upside of 43% or alternatively a CAGR of 18% from the prevailing share price. Thus, at the current uh, juncture, uh, investors could do well to buy the stock from March 2010 perspective. So note we have within the recommendations, we got some summary about the, about the actual company and then some predictions that are taking the information from the ratios, but also applying them to the company itself, also taking into consideration past performance as well as future performance, as well as economic uh, conditions and basically averages for the market and pulling those things together in terms of, of trying to put together uh, a summary information based on the type of analysis we have as well as possibly market conditions segment conditions